cloud service models. In the open market, cloud vendors sell their cloud services using different models which are called by several different acronyms. So it's very important for us to understand those acronyms which are what you call as cloud service models before we proceed further. So to start with, as an end user, you don't really see what's going on in the cloud and you access your cloud services via a browser or via a console access. But whereas in the cloud, you divide the cloud services model into three areas. It starts from SaaS model, which stands for software as a service. So you can see the SaaS model as something like accessing a CRM software in the cloud. A simple example could be Salesforce. So when you sign up for a Salesforce, you're specifically signing up for CRM related services. For that, you pay up a monthly cost. Second example could be you're signing up for an email service. Let's say you go to godaddy.com and you sign up for an email service. And for that, you pay up a monthly fees per user. So what's that? That's another form of software as a service in the cloud. The third one could be going to a gaming website and buying a game and then playing that game online within the same website. And off late, Microsoft has also introduced a number of different cloud models for accessing your MS Word, Excel, PowerPoint, even Visio over the cloud. So all these constitutes nothing but a software as a service or what you call as a short form SaaS. The second one, which goes beyond the SaaS model is called as PaaS, which stands for Platform as a Service. So platform means the server is already configured and some form of shared server access you're getting to host your software. As an example, I go to host.com or name.com or godaddy.com and sign up for a hosting plan. So the hosting plan that you're buying there, they are simply giving you a server. Within that server, they're giving you a space to host your website. For that, you're paying a monthly fixed fees. But they are not configuring the website for you. So once you get access to the hosting space, then you log in into the console provided by those companies and then you deploy your website and host on the platform that you have purchased in the cloud. So such platform is what you call as platform as a service or PaaS. Other examples could include database as a service. It's one of the form of a PaaS model or software development tools. For example, you require certain specific tools like Visual Studio and so on to develop your software. Traditionally, you used to install them over your desktop or your server in an on-site environment, but now there are several cloud vendors which let you install on a platform provided by them. And you don't have to worry about installing on your hardware on site and you simply access them over the cloud via internet browser or via a remote console access provided via a browser or via a console. Then the next model is called as IaaS, which stands for infrastructure as a service. And that sits on top of PaaS and SaaS models. So what's infrastructure as a service? Infrastructure, as the name suggests, it's nothing but buying the cloud service for hosting your infrastructure. As an example, if you've got your own website server on site that you're hosting your websites for, or maybe in a shared model like a PaaS, but instead of going in a shared model, you just want to have your exclusive server for hosting your websites. So for that, you go and buy a 
exclusive server in a IaaS model and that won't be shared that will be exclusive for your company or your organization to host your website that is as an example similarly IaaS service could be hosting in Oracle eBusiness Suite server or Oracle Fusion application server the advantage of all the cloud models is that you can access those services via internet anywhere in the world plus you don't have to worry about the maintenance the asset cost the depreciation the manpower a lot of advantages it brings as I've explained to you in the previous movie other examples of IES could include bare metal servers so bare metal servers like you are in an on-site environment you've got a physical box of the machine and the same physical box instead of hosting it on site you're hosting it over the cloud with a vendor the difference is that you don't have to worry about the security maintenance of that physical machine on site and you're simply passing on that job to a cloud service provider so there are certain vendor that offer such services such as IBM they offer the bare metal server through their service called as software and so on so when you buy a infrastructure as a service on a cloud it comes with a number of services associated with the infrastructure that you buy for example if you deploy a virtual private server which is also called as a VPS in a cloud then it comes with services such as the network for downloading stuff from the internet and then hosting your software over the internet for example if you deploy a website on a virtual private server then you may want to download some software from the internet to host that website at the same time you want external parties to be able to access your website via the internet so all that is done via the network which is linked to your VPS there are certain optional services that you can purchase for example load balancers load balancers are something like if you've got a website with huge traffic and you want to balance the load on your server so you deploy multiple application servers so that if there is a spike in the traffic that get balanced from these multiple instances likewise you can purchase services like a secure protocol or HTTPS protocol services a certificate and so on now to better understand the differentiation between these three kinds of cloud service model let's go back to our slate and there I'm gonna draw a simple diagram and give you a couple of simple examples under which you can easily distinguish between these three models so remember SAAS stands for software as a service PAAS stands for platform as a service and IAAS stands for, for infrastructure as a service now take this example let's say you got to have infrastructure like roads to drive the vehicles so let's draw some form of a car here okay and here I've talked about two things one is roads second is vehicles such as cars trucks or two-wheelers and so on but who drives those vehicles those vehicles are driven by manpower right so this is the third component that comes into picture so what you have roads take this as I a a s because it provides you the infrastructure to drive your vehicles and this vehicles are nothing but the platform which you are using to go from one place to another or transport goods from one place to another which is where PAAS cloud model comes into picture then the third one is you're using your manpower to actually use the platform provided so manpower 
you pay the manpower on an hourly basis on a weekly basis or on a monthly basis but manpower is the one who drives everything from one place to another and consider this one as the software as a service or the SaaS model so infrastructure is the bottommost layer on top of that you've got the platform like cars and on top of that who drives the cars are nothing but the manpower and the cloud service model is absolutely similar to what I've just explained to you so infrastructure as a service includes the servers platform includes things like shared services platform like hosting platform email platform or maybe storage platform and so on whereas the software as a service includes using that platform so let's say storage on top of storage I have stored a number of video files and photo files or on platform I have installed something like an email software or a CRM software or maybe a website which is where the SaaS model comes into picture so that's how you differentiate between the three types of cloud services model so going forward I'm going to explain you the concept of different types of clouds within this cloud services models Thank you.